Hi class, so today we're gonna to be doing another art project and today you guys are so lucky and you have me teaching it. So today we are going to be learning about and creating our own totem poles. And for those who don't know what totem poles are, they're super important in the Native American community and it's super cru crucial when we create these that we're very conscious of where we are getting this fun art project from. And you know, it's super important as fun as it is, it's important to know the reason behind it. Um, so totem poles are these big wooden poles that have carved animals in them usually. They can have people, but usually it's animals. And they were created by Native American men and tribes in British Columbia, Pacific Northwest, Alaska have created them to show their ancestry to source. So, excuse me, show their background, their ancestry, their cultural importance, and it's, it's very important in their community. It's something that they take very seriously and it's beautiful. So when you guys are on the Pacific Northwest, keep your eyes out and see if you can see one. So we are gonna create one right now. So we need a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll, crayons or markers, glue, construction paper, last but not least, scissors. So we're gonna get started and we're gonna color our animals. They can be animals that are important to you, that you feel like you resonate with. I kind of did that, did my favorite animals to the best of my ability. And that's what we're gonna do. So let's get started. So right here, I already started my little lion. Hopefully you guys know that it's a lion and my coloring isn't that bad. And I think we're gonna create a bear next. I really love bears. I always go on trips and keep my eyes out for bears, specifically brown bears, because I love them. So we're gonna do that. And I could use brown paper and if you guys want to do the color your animal is in the same color, you totally can. But I love bright colors as well. So I'm deciding to use a brown marker over my green construction paper just to have a little pop. Totally fine if you don't want to. This is your, this is your art. So, let's see. My bear is almost done. What do you guys think? So we're gonna get that started. And now we glue it onto our totem pole. Uh oh, got some glue on my marker. So here is our lion and I am choosing uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm choosing to do my bear in the middle. And I did it a little bit bigger because I feel like bears represent me the most. If we're talking about my ancestry or anything like that, I would be a spirit animal of a bear, probably. Maybe. My family calls me bear. And put that there and if it doesn't stick at first totally fine you guys can also use tape tape might be easier in some situations here we go so here is my bear and my tiger or my lion whichever you think it is and now we're gonna get started on the other one Pretty fun, huh guys? So I'm gonna do my best try at an eagle now. I think eagles are definitely a sig significant to our state and our state bird, our nation bird actually. Wow, future teacher. And I'm not very good at drawing birds, but I'll try my best. 
of. I kind of already got started on him when I was messing around. So what do you guys think? Does it look like a bird? Art is up to you. And what I really love about using bright colored construction paper is it just really jumps out at you then. Then you can look at the animals, but if I used brown paper and drew a bear with black marker, I feel like it wouldn't jump out at you as the same as this with his little paw. So there we have it. Here is our own little totem pole. And now it's your guys' turn. And I can't wait to see what you guys create. Thank you. Have a good day.